Hi everybody, Flick and Victoria here together to take you through one very simple exercise that will help you get your best arabesque alignment. And we do this by going down onto the mat. So Victoria's gonna demonstrate and I'm gonna talk through. So we're gonna start in an all fours position. So knees under hips, tummy draws through to the spine and we're checking we've got elbows, wrists and shoulders in line. We're gonna work the leg closest to the camera for you. Victoria's gonna extend that leg back and we're gonna check that we're working to face the outer thigh, the knee, the top of the shin, right through to the foot. We're aiming to face me, so we're aiming to face the screen. If we drop, we'll see that the leg has turned parallel. We've misengaged the top of the leg here. So we're rotating round, drawing the tummy through to the spine, engaging the glutes and the hamstrings and where they connect. And we're maintaining, holding that turnout to get that beautiful arabesque line. Now, Victoria just lowers to the artère, so that's down to the ground, and draws back up again, squeeze. Three more times, taking it down and up, each time making sure she's really engaging and maintaining that turnout from the top of the leg. I think this is our last one. Do one more for me, Victoria. Okay, now, arabesque isn't just about the lower body. We have to think about the upper body as well. So as you can see, Victoria's shoulders are very square. Her hips are square. So we're gonna take that arabesque out and at the same time now, the opposite arm is going to come out. So we're engaging the muscles either side of the spine, lower, middle, and upper back. And this is really to find that length from top of the fingertip right down to the toe to get that beautiful arabesque strength. And if you switch onto the other side for me, Victoria, so now you can see that it's the back of the leg that you'll be seeing. She's working the outside of the thigh, the shin, the top of the foot to face me. Opposite arm comes off, lifting in one movement after she's taken her lower and lifts. And you can do these straight away with the arm off, but it's nice to really establish that line. Reaching and lengthening again from fingertip to toe. Everything will be shaking and quivering at this point. Lower down and just to come out of it, sit your bottom back to your heels, lengthen the arms forward and we're lengthening everything out and releasing into the tops of the legs as well. If you practice this even before you start your sleek workout, you'll find that when you come to stand up and take your arabesque standing, which Victoria is now going to do, everything is fired up. We've activated everything correctly and when we establish that first arabesque, we'll find that again, the alignment is the top of the leg facing the knee, the top of the shin and the foot, beautifully held. And of course, the back is working too. So have a go at that, see the difference it makes, feel the difference it makes in your arabesque and happy sleeking. We'll see you on the next one.